Conditions across the area this morning are mostly clear, as you can see behind me from City Cam 8 in downtown La Crosse. Here's a check on those current conditions as you head out the door. In La Crosse, you're looking at 63 degrees with that sunshine. Visibility looking crystal clear at 10 miles, a light east southeast wind to go along with that at 3 miles an hour. Meanwhile, for you in Eau Claire, also looking sunny here. Temperatures are currently running at 61. Wind speeds here are looking nice and calm, and our current temperatures across the board are mainly in the 60s. Uh, a couple of cold exceptions. Black River Falls at 55. Sparta is currently at 50 degrees. Some of the typical cooler spots, however, in the Cooley region with 52 degrees in Volkville. But you can see Winona is currently at 64. Good morning to you. And 64 degrees in Viroqua. So here's a check now on your planner for today. 67 degrees with lots of sunshine at noon at 7 o'clock. And then noon, 88 degrees with plenty of sun. And then turning very hot later this afternoon. More specifically around 4 o'clock. Lots of sun. Temperatures at 94, 87 and mostly sunny. So still pretty warm even as we head into early this evening and our forecast highs everywhere else today running pretty hot to into the low 90s at least in many spots with that high of 94 today in La Crosse and in Eau Claire. I'm expecting you to be at 93 this afternoon. As of right now, things are looking pretty quiet. I am watching some shower activity back towards the west near the Twin Cities and that is associated with a frontal boundary back to our west here as well. Now this frontal boundary is expected to make its way towards the east here as we head over these next couple of days. In fact, you'll start to notice it's going to continue to move east here as we head into the later morning hours, but our weather not really being much affected here by it too much. Most of the rain and precipitation in general still back towards the west as we head into this afternoon, but that's going to change though as we head into this evening and tonight. As that front continues to advance, you can see some showers and maybe even a few thunderstorms developing along that boundary as it continues to advance forward. By overnight tonight, some of those showers and storms make their way east across the area. Otherwise, you can expect maybe a slight chance of a shower with the uh, cloudy skies here tonight as well as that front continues to move in and by six o'clock tomorrow morning. Once we lose the daytime heating of the day, we are expected to remain mostly clear, but that frontal boundary does look like it's going to hang around here as we head into the day tomorrow. Once we get the heating of the day going, we're going to be looking at showers and storms developing right along that boundary here as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Uh, some locally heavily downpours are possible. Some of those thunderstorms and uh, looks like we'll get a break here as we head into tomorrow evening after that first round moves out. Here comes comes round number two though as we head into tomorrow night and it's going to ride up along the boundary and move east here northeast that is across the Cooley region for tomorrow night and that could be our best chance of seeing some of those strong to even severe thunderstorms possible before that activity clears out as we head into uh, Wednesday morning. So the Storm Prediction Center has issued this level two slight risk of severe weather highlight in yellow for much of our area here in the Cooley region and this means that scattered strong to severe thunderstorms are possible. The main threats I'm thinking with some of those storms, gusty winds, some large hail is possible, and again, some heavy downpours also possible, mainly tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. So something we'll keep our eyes on here as we head into the 4th of July holiday during the day tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, it's going to be a pretty hot day. High of 94 degrees once again. Once that cold front uh, passes through, our temperatures are going to drop down into the upper 70s for Wednesday and then into the 80s throughout the rest of the week. A little on the cloudy side for Friday through the weekend, though.